Well, folks, Dr. Freedom here with you on my last day in Facebook jail. That's right. And the funny thing is, they don't tell you why you're in Facebook jail, because I wasn't doing anything I haven't done for the last eight or nine years on Facebook other than sharing links to videos in groups where I've gotten liked. But off that stuff, let's get to the stuff you'll want to hear about. Now, as you all know, today popped up on the Doctor Who official channel as well as on Twitter and here on YouTube that this little clip popped up. And if you watch it, it's just the TARDIS flying in and it says coming soon, watch this space, yada, yada, yada. The important part is down here, highlighted. Make space, you know, for the, you know November 23rd of this year. Now, as you all know, November 23rd, 1963 was the first episode of Doctor Who aired. So, kind of nice that we're possibly getting a Series 12 trailer on that date, you know, celebrating Doctor Who Day. Plus, it's 13 days from now, which is kind of nifty, given we're on the 13th Doctor. And I know some people cannot accept that, you know, but that's a whole other topic of discussion. So, keep your eyes peeled. Pretty soon, we're going to have that. So, not long to go, folks. Also, I'm hoping this is pointing towards something that a TV New Zealand deal, sorry, a TV New Zealand document apparently was leaked out. And I don't know if this document's real or not, but according to that document, it's stating that they're getting Doctor Who there on January 2nd, which would mean because of the time zones and all that, that means January 1st over here, which would be New Year's Day we might have some you know, Doctor Who airing. Well, like I said, don't get too excited. I'm going to keep my eyes peeled on that. And if we get any more data on it, I'll let you know. All right, let's get to some more stuff going on here because we have uh, this article there, Darville, saying Jodie Whittaker will be even better next year. And that's a nice bit of support. He said, quote, I think Jodie is amazing. I'm really looking forward to what they do next year. I always think the second series of anyone in that role is the one where they bloom. You've had this year of will they like it, won't they like it, and then the second year is great. We saw that with David, Matt, and Peter, the second series is the one where they have fun, end quote. So a nice bit of support there from Arthur Darville. He's going to be at Chicago TARDIS. You know, I hope I get a chance to bump into him. It's just money's kind of limited, so... You know, we'll have to see. All right, moving forward. Of course, Children in Need coming up this week. And, you know, they've already had it pretty much confirmed they're going to have something there from Doctor Who. If you zoom down this article here, um, boom, boom, boom. Also on the bill are Doctor Who and Star Wars specials. And that's the key line there for this whole article, really, as far as we're concerned. So, nice that's going on. You know, we're, it's probably just going to be something small. Maybe it's something where they have somebody visit the set again, something like that. Um, from, where we, from far as we know, it's called like a visit from Doctor Who, something along that line. So looking forward to seeing what that little nifty thing is going to be. Here's a little bit more about it here, Doctor Who confirmed for children in need. But if you zoom down here, they got a little trailer for everybody that's going to pop up. And of course, you know, Doctor Who is, you know, represented in this little video. It's mainly not, it's not any new footage. It's stuff that they've, you know, edited in from the previous series. But still, if you want to go check that out, boom, here you go. Also, this is really cool. Um, if you run over here, we celebrated the achievements of all, of, sorry, we celebrated the achievements of children in care and care leavers with a fantastic event which featured some very special guests. Now, if you zoom down here, one of the event organizers even arranged for a friend, none other than the current Doctor Who, Huddersfield-born jo actor Jodie Whittaker, to send a personal video message to the young people. The video was exclusively for Kirkley's Care Leavers, and I'm sorry, but I don't want to butcher their name. I, I don't want to, I have no idea how to pronounce it. But apparently it's a Kendrick here said, It was so kind of Jodie to give up her time. When the message was played to everyone in the room, it just added to a very special night. Jodie encouraged the young people to follow their dreams and to remember there's more than one road and they can, they can take to achieve their goals. It was a powerful message from a hugely respected and successful person. So very nice of her that she sent this, you know, to this group for that event and, you know, took the time out to do it. So for you folks who are out there saying she doesn't, you know, properly you know represent doctor who all i can say is after this get stuffed all right and lastly for today i want to thank everybody who's come over to watch the latest chapter of what lies beneath you know the latest adventure of dr freedom and eric um, this one will conclude in episode nine i was originally going to have it conclude in series episode eight or chapter eight but the thing is there was way too much dialogue to dump on the cast to bring it all the way to the end. So I decided to split it up into two parts again. 
and um, I've already started working on the you know ending scenes for chapter nine. So once I get the rest of the lines in, chapter nine will be put out immediately, and you know once it's edited. And I hope you've all enjoyed this latest adventure. Now, if you do enjoy these adventures, please go to the pages, you know, go to the videos, give them a like, you know, you know, let me know what you think of them in the comment box, you know, and we can, you know, do something a little better next time. Next episode will be Murder on the Shatanyu, and that's going to be a you know, nifty little murder mystery with a little intergalactic twist here and there. So I want to thank you all for coming in. Like I said, last day of Facebook jail. Oh, I am just so repressed. I think I almost got shanked in the shower. I hope that was a shank. Okay, so take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you on the flip side, kitties. Have a good one.